So when I do a service on a water heater, it's gonna be a three quarter inch tap, okay? And um, so I carry, get them from Granger or Amazon or whatever, I carry a three quarter inch tap and I carry a half inch tap. These are these big taps, okay? So if, if I'm ever doing a back flush or any kind of service on any water heater, I'm always gonna clean those threads and retap those. It's, I'm, I'm not gonna retap the threads. I wanna be clear, I'm not gonna retap the threads, but I will take my three quarter inch tap and I'm gonna clean those threads out really good. So when I put my Teflon paste on, the, whether the heating element or the uh, um, anode rod, or the plug. Um, I know my threads are clean because if I back flushed it, all that sediment's getting settled inside of all those threads. So um, just a good three quarter inch. Now you're, it doesn't have to be the really um, hardcore, you know, rigid. I like rigid, but it doesn't, it, I think mine are rigid, but um, you're not cutting threads. You're just cleaning the threads that are already there. Okay, so uh, they don't have to be the, the really hardcore $80 rigid tap is my point, but yeah, so three quarter inch is what you need. Even your, your pop-off valve up at the top, um, that's, a, well, they have a half inch and they have a three quarter, so that's why it's good to have both of those and just kind of get them in there and I get a little socket and just kind of wiggle, 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 wiggle and clean them up really good, take them out, hose it off, and then um, that's what I do every time I work on those is I keep those threads clean.